Welcome to the Ali2 Wu YouTube channel. It's about the dropshipping business from AliExpress and about the Ali2 Wu plugin, a great solution for dropshippers. In this video, you'll learn how to set product prices using the Ali2 Wu Global Pricing Rules features. This feature allows you to set and change prices for all products at once. When you decide on product prices, you have to consider the original product prices on AliExpress, shipping costs and other costs, such as marketing expenses. This approach will help you set the markup correctly. Now, let's take a look at the process itself. Go to Ali2Wu, Settings, Pricing Rules. Here you can use one of the three possible price techniques, multiplier, fixed markup, or custom price. If you choose the multiplier method, then all the supplier's product prices will be multiplied by the specific multiplier you enter. For example, if the product cost is $5 on AliExpress and you set the multiplier to 3, the product cost in your store will be $15. However, if you select the fixed markup method, all vendor product prices will be increased by a specific value you set. For example, if the product price is $5 on AliExpress and you have a set fixed markup to 3, then the product cost in your store will be $8. And if you select the custom price method, all supplier product prices will be replaced with the specified value you entered. For example, if the product price is $5 on AliExpress and you set a custom price to 12, then the product cost in your store will be $12. The Compared It Price feature will help you set the WooCommerce sale price for all products at once. To activate this feature, switch to the setting, select Multiplier, set Fixed Margin, or use the custom price as we showed earlier and set the value you want. Please note that the Product Compared At Price setting should be bigger than the Your Product Price value to display the discount correctly. For example, if the product price is $10 on AliExpress and you set the Your Product Price multiplier to 3 and Your Product Comparative Price multiplier to 6, then this product will cost $30 in your store. The old product price will be displayed as $60 and will be crossed out to show the sale. It is important to note that almost always the products on AliExpress have new and old crossed out prices. If you only want one price to be displayed in your store, then set the same pricing rules for both. For example, on AliExpress, if a new product price is $4 and the old is 6 in your store you want to increase the price by $1 and display it without a discount. To do this, set the Your Product Price and Your Product Comparative Price values to 1. Ali2Wu has another great feature, Advanced Pricing Rules, which allows you to set a multiplier, a fixed margin, or a random price for a given price range. Use the same steps that were discussed earlier to set preferences for different price ranges. This will allow you to set a markup more fixably. It's very useful if products have a wide range of prices in your store. Finally. The Assign Sense feature can be useful if you want to round up the prices of products. For example, if the product is $2.90 on AliExpress and you set the multiplier to 3 and the cents are assigned to 90, then the product price will be $8.90 in your store. After you've made the changes on this page, be sure that you save them. Then click on the Save Settings button and after that, click on Apply Pricing Rules to Existing Products to apply the changes to all the added products. In the drop-down box, select Preferences and confirm the action. Depending on how many products you have, the update may take some time. After this, you can continue working on other tasks or continue working with the store and your actions will not interrupt the update process. Congratulations! You've just set up Global Pricing Rules. In order to learn more about the capabilities of the plugin, we suggest you visit our website, ali2woo.com.
and subscribe to this channel in order to not miss the new training videos.